right, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hope for elect scattered abroad. Alright, I'm the brother Taz of War. Back at you again with uh, another lesson. And uh Lord's willing as always. I pray that these lessons will be edifying to those of the hope for elect. And um I was watching um Richie from Boston and I wanted to play a clip a quick clip because playing their videos on the platform of YouTube will get you flagged, you know. On YouTube, you can't speak freely because YouTube is pushing a narrative, all right, which is the NWO. So I'm going to play this quick clip, maybe to set the tone. Now they've got the FDA backing them. Now they've got soldiers apparently saying things like this. Understand that if active duty military actually get deployed within the United States, that weapon is not just pointed at other people, other countries. It's pointed at you. If you do not get in your house when I tell you to, you become the enemy. Martial law. I'm okay, so so there you go. All right. You heard it from one of the soldiers' mouths. One of the women soldiers. Edomite soldiers. All right. She said, you know, when when they declare martial law, she's one of them people. If you don't get in the house, you're gonna have to deal with her. So you can see, you know that. When they go to shut down everything and wherever some sort of crisis, because what Richie from Boston is predicting, which makes sense and it's possible that, you know, this is like, you know, 9-11, you know, something can go down big next month, you know, to cause, you know, a, 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 a light out shortage. I mean, well, you know, lights out, whatever, whatever, who knows, you know? But uh, when they go to shutting shit back down and they have to use military, you got those type of women in the military and men who is going to go against their own American people. All right. And that just shows you that this is the end. All right. This is the end of Babylon the Great. All right. The Lord will even have his own. He will have Esau go against Esau. Matter of fact, let me... Um, Scripture come in mind Isaiah 19 and 2 it says and I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians and they shall fight everyone against his brother and everyone against his neighbor city against city and kingdom against kingdom all right now we know that Esau ain't the Egyptians but it's gonna be in this like manner because when you have U.S. military and them jarheads that just, uh, them young men, women who've been microchipped, all right, they're gonna, uh, go on, they're gonna be going against these militia groups who stand very firm and strong for their American belief, all right? And like these rednecks would say over their dead body, you know, that you're gonna force them to not have freedom. But this is the end, all right? The Lord said these things will happen, you know? This has never happened in American history ever, you know? And as we prophesize and pray to the, and praise the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, that he fulfill his prophecy because these things has to happen. These things has to happen. Matter of fact, I want to go to what Yahweh Shai spoke. This is the book of Matthew 24 and verse 6. Or verse 4, it says, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. So you're not supposed to be deceived in these times. All right? Just prove, it, you know, even with Yahweh Shai saying that, this just proves that today we somebody would have 100% truth. Because if you don't have 100% truth, then somewhere you're deceived. All right? And the Lord just said here, And Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, which we was talking to the disciples, all right, because he's going to tell them of the, of the things that was going to happen before the very end, okay, and to look forward to his second coming, which also proves reincarnation, all right, because why would the Lord tell them this if they wasn't going to be here? It says, and Yahweh Shai answered and said unto them, uh, take heed that no man deceive you, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am the anointed, and shall deceive many. 
and you do have many that come in the name of the Lord, all right, and they're not the anointed, all right? You got men who teach that they're Israelites, and they swear they come in the name of the anointed, because they tell you, don't worship the anointed, you know, he's just a regular man, you know, don't worry about the book of, um, of Hebrews, you know, the word of God is in the Bible, but the word, uh, whatever how God said the shit, I can't never get that right. And I don't even want to get it right because it's ridiculous what this man said. The word of God is in the Bible, but the, I, I don't know. Anyway, you got men doing this, man. All right. You got these pastors and preachers and these government churches, you know, swearing that they're coming in the name of the anointed, which they really come in the name of Satan. Because if they teach in Jesus Christ, that's of Satan. All right. Jesus Christ, who you call, all right, goes back to Serapis Christus. Or you or or uh or Ch Chesare Borgia, okay? But originally going back to Serapis Christus. So anyway, for many shall come in my name, saying I am the anointed, and shall deceive many, and ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, and the end is not yet. So we know that these things gonna have to come. So that's why I wanted to show that little clipping. With Richie from Boston putting up on his uh, one of his videos, all right, and the uh, military woman, you know, she ain't playing no games, you know. So you're gonna have the Edomites versus Edomites, right? And you jigs two thirds, you're gonna get swept in the fire because what the Lord is doing, the Lord is destroying Esau by Esau's own ways. Right? This devil, these elites, they're on the trick bag. What they're doing to their, their, their what they're doing to their kingdom and the lands, especially here in America, is they're trying to they're trying to uh, break down and build up. But this is a breakdown that you know that would never get built back up. You know, going into Malachi, the Lord said, uh, you shall build, but I shall destroy. Because the Lord is destroying them. The Lord got them in the trick bag. Alright. He said, I would take them in the devices that they have imagined. Uh, what's that? Job, the fifth chapter, where he said he would stop their enterprise. So there it is, man. Job, the 20th chapter. All right. He shall get him while he is eating. So Esau is in a trick bag. So our Lord, which is Yahweh Shai, all right, which is his true name, Yahweh Shai, and the Father's name is Yahweh, they told us to separate from these things, man. All right. So that's why. You know, you have to be renewed in the mind and being washed by the word. That's uh, Romans, the 12th chapter. And uh, that's repentance. You know, turning from wickedness and following and striving after righteousness unto death. All right. Scriptures say, he that have door to the end, the same shall be saved. So let's continue. Matthew 24 and 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled. For all these things must come to pass. And the end is not yet. So martial law, as we spoke about. All right. Um, sedition among men is going to happen. More pri uh, protests and riots, you know, standing against, standing up against their government. All right. All these things going to come to pass. Verse 7, it says, For nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And uh, what's being also said from whistleblowers, from guys who cover in true news, you know, just trying to figure it out because Esau is the master of, of deception he's the devil that the bible speaks of he goes back to that old serpent all right and they're saying you know it could possibly be a, a, a shortage on food which is going to bring a famine you know so you got a lot of doomsday preppers prepping getting ready for uh you know a food shortage but we know biblically these things will come you know there will be a famine on food man you know it's going to be lawlessness eventually you know, they talk about these kids, well, some kids going back to school already, all right? But, um, you know, they're, you know, they, they, they got you in this, uh, this sort of dream, you know, and really you need to wake the hell up, all right? But those of the hopeful elect are woke, all right? So really, you know, as I say, you know, in the beginning of these lessons, Lord willing is edifying for those of the hopeful elect because these lessons are for the elect, all right? You may come across this show, Whatever, laugh, scoff, mock it, you know, diss it, you know, curse it out. That's on you. We do these shows for each other, for the elect, all right? So anyway, 
It says, and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So these are the signs. It says, all these are the beginning of sorrows. And that's what we're in. We're in that sorrows, man. All right? Those uh, birth pains. Okay? Where uh, the word pestilence uh, means a continued sorrow, a continued trouble. All right? One thing after another. You know, Jake say that shit, you know, as, you know, as a saying. You know, damn, one thing after another. God damn. You know, well, that's what's happening. Woes and calamities. The Most High is creating woes and calamities to come back to back. All right, you got this thing uh, down there in, um, damn, is it New Orleans? Shit, it's Lockyer, but uh, the great weather, storm, the flooding, you know, just more calamity, more, more of destruction. And Esau capitalized on things like that. Now they can implement a new system, which is their system of the NWO. You know, a new way of form of ID. You know, you have to get the Satan's juice, the Satan's bite, the venom. You know, let's get that. This is the book. Isaiah 65 and 11. It says, but ye are they that forsake the Lord. Let's, let's do this. Highlight. It says, but ye are they that forsake Yahweh and forget my holy mountain. That prepare a table for that troop and that furnish the drink offerings unto that number. And that's two thirds. All right. According to Zechariah, what's that? 13, 8, and 9. All right. Two thirds therein. All right. Shall be destroyed. One third shall be brought through the fire. It's roughly paraphrasing. Because we understand who the Lord is dealing with when it comes to his people. All right. We understand what people the Lord is dealing with and what type of people of his people. You know, and that's that's the Lord's hope for elect, and that's who we hope to be a part of. You know, hoping that the Lord approves us. You know, to uh, receive His rest. You know, on this side, being part of the first resurrection. So it says Isaiah 65 and 11, but ye are they that forsake Yahweh. See, that forget my holy mountain. That holy mountain is this book. All right, it's the scriptures. It's the gospel. All right, it's the ways of the Lord, the law, statutes, and commandments. You forget. The holy mountain you forget the true government the government that runs the universe all right it says that prepare a table for that troop who that troop that's esau it says and that furnish the drink offering unto that number it says therefore will i number you to the sword and ye shall bow down to the slaughter see it says because when i called ye did not answer when i spec ye did not hear but did evil before my eyes and did choose not wherein i delighted not okay so you're going to bow down to the slaughter which is jacob's trouble that the lord is going to bring upon you and he said because i called when did the lord call he used the prophets all right brothers went out week in and week out in season out of season okay faithfully teaching the truth teaching the gospel of the lord you know giving you the 100 percent truth you know whether it was uh the mcnasties of what people really don't want to hear about but the bible been broken down Okay, so there's there's really, you know, no excuse why you shouldn't have this truth. All right. So it says, because when I called, ye did not answer. You didn't answer because you didn't answer unto the Lord's word. It says, when I spec, ye did not hear. See, you covered your ears up. You laughed, you scoffed, you scorned. You took delight in your scorning against the men of the Lord. You teased us. You know, it says, but did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. So you chose to be a part of the world. And everything a part of this world is wickedness, man. All right? Apostle Paul said, if it's not of faith, then it's sin. You know? Verse 13. Therefore, thus saith Yahweh, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Because the famine going to come. But who's going to eat during the famine? The Lord's servants. Okay? Those who believe in the Lord with faith. All right. It says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart, because we're going to be happy. All right. Praising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, everyone else is mourning. And here it is when, when this world was uh, in happiness, we were mourning. But now that the world is mourning, it's going to be a reverse of roles where we're going to be happy. All right. Because we understand that this world is not for us. All right. This world is for the wicked. And we're not of the wicked. All right. Remember when um, 
uh, Satan, you know, he took Yahweh Shai up to the highest pinnacle and he showed him the worlds, you know, all the worlds he would govern over. Well, this is one of them, all right? This is his last hoorah. This is his last stop because Yahweh Shai is coming to take this kingdom from Satan, all right? And starting with his counterparts, which is Esau, Edom, these elite banking families, the Rothschilds, all right? The UN, the, the uh, NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization, the Beast, all right? He's going to destroy this system, all right? But Satan, all right, demon spiritual Satan, he's going to still be among. He's a prince of the Most High. And that's what a lot of you guys fail to realize, that Satan works for the Most High. All right, he's going to be in the kingdom doing his job. He's going to be doing what he's doing now. But his thing is going to be against you heathens. All right, he's going to be against you heathens, not the Israelites. Because Satan is in order. All right, because it's the Heavenly Father that do everything. You know, but we understand that the Lord do everything. So we praise Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, we ask for forgiveness from Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You know, but yeah, you get mad at Satan because Satan doing his job, but you're supposed to praise and give glory and honor to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai because it's the Lord that want all the smoke. All right, He wants all the attention. He wants it to be known that if it's evilness, He did it. If it was righteousness, He did it. Okay. Remember, the Heavenly Father is a jealous power. Okay. That's what uh, Oprah Winfrey got bugged out on On one of her old shows back in the 90s You know, if they still have it on YouTube She said one of the things that she could not believe in the Bible anymore Because when she read that the Heavenly Father is a jealous power She just couldn't understand it She just quit She couldn't, she couldn't believe in the Bible anymore It don't make sense to her But well, it makes sense to us So it says, Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And I mean, you're going to be yelling and screaming, man. Ah, <sighs> yeah, yeah, you know, and it's rightfully deserved. All right. For all you evil doers, you backbiters, truth breakers, you know, um, uh, showing discord among men, showing discord among the women, you know, uh, helping Esau and his agenda. It's rightfully deserved, man. Rightfully deserved you get you reap what you sow verse 15 and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen For Yahweh shall slay thee and call his servants by another name All right, so just going back and I read up quickly Ezekiel 23 and 23 and they shall come against thee with chariots wagons and wheels and with the assembly of people Which shall set against thee bunkler and shield and helmet round about and I will set judgment Before them and they shall judge thee according to their judgments Right Verse 25 And I will set my jealousy against thee And they shall deal furiously with thee And they shall take away thou nose and thou ears And thou raiment shall fall by the sword And shall take thou sons and thou daughters And the residue shall, And thou residue shall be devoured by the fire Alright so when he come in, you know, with military, it ain't going to be no, no playing no games, man. You know, playing no games, man. You know, what happened in the past is going to happen here in the future. It says, they shall also strip thee out of thy clothes and take away thy fair jewels. So you're going to get stripped out of your house, man. Okay. You're going to be taken out of your house. You're going to have your, uh, your possessions taken away from you. This is why you ain't supposed to uh, put all your spirit into everything that you possess. You know, because tomorrow could be gone. Shit, you could be gone. You know, we put our spirit in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It says, Thus will I make thou lewdness to cease from thee, and thou whoredom brought from the land of Egypt. And that's exactly what's going on. It's still the same whoredom, the same idolatry, all right, the witchcraft that was in Egypt. It's still going on to this day in Babylon the Great. All right, you took it, you, you, you blacks, Negroes, you know, that you love to. You know, represent for Africa as if you're Hamites. You know, you follow the ways of these Hamites, man. Okay? You love to uh, worship these idols. You go to some of these shops where you try to get some smell goods and oils and, you know, little spiritual things, scents, you know, uh, sage. You know, you go to these little shops and it's all witchcraft, man. You got a bunch of witches in there. They got statues in there talking about some, these are the gods. Do you know who this is? I want to know who that is. You know? Last time I've been to one of those three, it was three witches in there. I call them witches because they all had dressed like witches. They was all uh, 
you know, had all the idols and they knew every information all about it. They was acting like, you know, they uh, it's cool to do these uh, demonic rituals and shit. And a woman going, you know, tell me, do I knew, do I know about our ancestors here in this certain statue? I, was, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> fuck you telling me that for, man? Left right out, man. It says, so that thou shalt not lift up thou eyes unto thee, unto them, nor remember Egypt anymore. For thus saith Yahweh, behold, I will deliver thee from the hand of them whom thou hatest, and to a hand of them whom thou mind is alienated, and they shall deal with thee hatefully, and shall take away thou all thy labor, and shall leave thee naked and bare, and the nakedness of thy whoredom shall be discovered, both thy lewdness and whoredoms. It says, I will do these things unto thee, because thou hast gone a whoring after the heathen. And because thou art polluted with their idols. So this is why the Lord is going to bring destruction upon two-thirds of his people. All right? You're going to be brushed into the fire with Esau and his kingdom. Because you, it says, have it says have gone a whoring after the heathen. Everything that the heathens present, you know, Jake swallow it up. But anything that of the lords of their own, they hate it. So it says, and because thou art polluted with their idols, now you idolize rappers and athletes, you know, you idol worship these men, you know, you grow up, children growing up, they want to be like Mike, you know, they want to be like Bron Bron, King Bron, you know, start walking around, talking, you got guys who want to act like rappers, as soon as a new rapper come out with a new color hair, you see him in your city, walking down the street looking at him he got the same physique skinny weird looking body you know what i'm saying weird looking cut you're looking at him like look at this dude this dude think he chris brown you know what i'm saying you can tell who idol who idol worship because you because you put on their image and what they're putting on is an actor's role man they're hypocrites they're just actors and entertainers but you take it in reality dealing with your everyday reality real life you know jake's stupid man controlled by the music you idolize this music, that drill music. You know, Chicago got it on lock for the for the uh, demon time. You know, it's spreading across the world. Demon time, man. Niggas on demon time. Even these chicks, they on demon time. You know? So, it is what it is, man. Lord willing, I pray this lesson was edifying. Uh, I had brought the video out. I can't play the whole video because, obviously, YouTube will take it down. It will strike. But uh, the title was, there will be another September event, outbreak at schools, and no vax, no food. Because that's what it's going down to, man. All right? It's coming down to the wire. All right? That's why we got to go through the straight gate. this and I close out this is Yahweh Shai it says Matthew 7 and 13 enter in at the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go in thereat because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth in unto life and few there be that find it so we want to be of the few that do find it man and that's the elect all right so, Lord willing, I pray this lesson to be edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakodash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.